So this is me realising how crap I am at blogging. And uh, and so I thought I'd give this video of blogging a go instead. And I thought I'd start by telling you uh, about the new book, which I have about 10 weeks left uh, to write it <laughs> before I have to deliver it. And so if I'm about 30,000 words into what I hope is going to be about a 65, 70,000 word book. And there are a couple of things that inspired it. Uh, the first thing uh, was S.E. Hinton's The Outsiders, which remains one of my favourite young adult novels, largely because it's such a thin book, and for me, thin books were kind of my saviour because I was such a lazy, and still am such a lazy reader. Uh, but what I love about that book so much is the brotherhood in the book. It's the sense of brotherhood. It's the fact that these guys who are actually even blood relations, most of them, would kind of walk over broken glass. There's nothing that they wouldn't do to, to save one of their mates. And that always stuck with me massively. I just love that idea of, of people doing anything for each other. And then teamed up with that was uh, a lot of the footage, TV footage that came about from the war in Afghanistan, especially all the repatriation ceremonies in, uh, in Wooden Bassett. And I don't know what it was about them. It was just this big kind of outpouring of grief and this idea of the whole town coming out to, to bring these young men home who'd made that kind of ultimate sacrifice. And there was something about that that really stuck with me. And as time went on and I realised I had to come up with a new idea for a book, those two things, the outsider's idea and the, the repatriation idea, kind of came together and I, I had these kind of two characters coming together who were brothers, blood relations, and uh, an older brother who's 18 who's gone off to fight in Afghanistan for reasons that we're not quite sure because it seems like he's not fully committed to what, what war is really all about. And also a younger brother at home who's waiting for his big brother to come back. But the tensions arise when the big brother comes back and instead of being this older figure that always holds the group together, instead he comes back kind of damaged, uh, changed uh, massively by what's gone on while he's been in Afghanistan. And this whole role reversal idea that the younger brother maybe has to do the looking after of him for a change and the tensions that that would bring about. So I'm kind of 30,000 words into it and I'm, I'm writing from Jamie's point of view at the moment who's the older brother who's away in Afghanistan. And I've decided to write the two parts separately and then try and blend them together as best I can. So it's a bit of a challenge. And as I say, I've got about ten weeks left before it has to be delivered in first draft, so no pressure. Uh, but maybe I'll keep you updated. If this vlog thing works, then, uh, then maybe there'll be updates. And I might even read some of it out and, and see if I can get any feedback on it. But listen, I hope this isn't been too dull. Uh, thanks for listening. Have a good night.